Hi everyone, welcome to Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a low carb lifestyle. We are currently up at the lake and where we are, it is a small town, a meat market in town that has the best bacon. And I go there a lot. And there's also a small town grocery store that I go to. But today I'm gonna head into Family Dollar. I'm gonna run inside and look around in their small grocery section to see what kind of items I can find that are low carb and I'm gonna take you along with me, so stay tuned. Pork rinds are always my favorite go-to when I go to a convenience store or a gas station and I need a quick snack. They're very filling and satisfying. I was looking for some low-carb tortillas. These had 30 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber, very high in carbs, and these were high in carbs as well, so I passed on the tortillas. And then I was looking over here at some of these dips that they offered. They were all low carbs. None of them had clean ingredients, but if you are in a pinch and you need a quick snack, these are available. These would be great to serve with the pork rinds. This is a good dip here, low in carbs. Some salsa, salsa is always good. You can serve that with pork rinds, or you can also put that on a taco bowl and you can put it on chicken when you're grilling it. You can also top with this salsa queso cheese. It was low in carbs and again, not the cleanest of ingredients. This is a hot dog chili that I was looking at. It's low in carbs, but it's for only a two carb, uh, it's only for two tablespoons. So if you're gonna use it on a hot dog, that's fine, but just don't eat the whole can. This is some chopped chilies, low in carbs. Great idea for throwing in your taco bowl. I found coconut oil. And out of all the oils that I saw in the store, they had Wesson vegetable oils. Um, I would pick the coconut oil out of all of those. And zero carb. This is green beans. That is my canned vegetable of choice. I always go for the green beans. They are the lowest in carb. And if you look at some of the corn and beets and peas and carrots, they have a much higher carb count and sugar. So I tend to stay away from those. This is a uh, canned spinach that I was looking at. This would be good to serve as cream spinach or serve it like in an omelet or cook it as a side. And that was low in carbs. This was another low in, low in carbs asparagus, canned asparagus. And I like asparagus. Those ingredients were very clean. And so that would be a good choice there. Here's some Hershey cocoa. You can use it for cooking. You can mix it with some almond milk and some monk fruit to make some hot chocolate. Nuts are good, low carb snack. I like pecans as my choice. They tend to be a lower carb nut. Uh, this mayo here had higher carbs. There was two grams of carbs per serving with the Miracle Whip and the real mayo had zero carbs. So it's always good to read the labels to make sure you're getting the lowest carb options. Olives are a great choice for a low carb snack. And these black olives here, and then there was these green ones here, and they're always great to snack on. And then I was also looking at these jalapenos. I got these jalapenos. They're a great low carb choice. I also got some pickles. Pickles are great for low carb snacking and there are pickles that have sugar in them so beware of that sweet pickles and sweet relish tend to have higher carb counts because of the sugar ranch dressing is always a great dressing option if you want to do a low carb dressing and you can use all of these hot sauces up here and mustards they're generally very very low in carbs or even zero carbs Diced tomatoes is good to pick up for low carb recipes. This uh, Parmesan cheese was zero carbs. This Alfredo sauce was low in carbs. This would be good over some chicken with some broccoli. That's the way I like it. And there was a different flavor here. And so those were a good choice. Here was some whole oysters. Not my favorite, but there are many out there that like these. So. I wanted to show them as a choice.
And also the canned meats, there's canned tuna, and so is deviled ham. This right here is two carbs for this whole can, so that's pretty good. And also there are different um, canned chickens. I picked up this canned chicken right here. I'm going to try to do a chicken pizza crust pretty soon. And this is Spam. Spam's great with eggs. And this is low carb. And a lot of people like Spam. So we have these Vienna sausages here. There was so many different flavors. They even had a hot and spicy that I've never seen before. So this chunk ham right here was low in carb. This is mackerel and brine. And that is a zero carb option. And then there was some pink salmon, all in cans. These are great to stock up on for emergencies. You got some canned meat on hand. There's some sardines. Broths are really good to pick up. This was the little freezer section and I found some cooked shrimp down here. It was not breaded, that's a great option. And they also had a bunch of meat. They had ground beef and steaks and pork chops. I'm not sure if all family dollars have this, but this was a good find here. And then I found some, there's some also some ground beef down here and some breakfast sausage. I could have really filled up my cart here with a lot of these different groceries. Here is some skinless chicken breast and these burger patties back here. And then I think we're going to come up on some eggs here in a second. Oh, we got some sausage here. This is some brown and served sausages. If you need something quick to heat up in a microwave, you can use these. And coming down here, we have cheese. Cheese is a great low carb option. And sour cream. I like Daisy Sour Cream, it's a good brand. And eggs, eggs are very good for the keto low carb diet. And over here, there's a bunch of hot dogs and lunch meat is a great snack. If you're on the go, you can just roll up some of these with cheese and have a roll up. There's a bunch of different lunch meats they had there. And then down here was their hot dogs. These brats were good. They had cheddar. And then down below, there were some kielbasa and smoked sausages and bacon. Bacon is so good. As I was standing in line, I saw these beef and cheese sticks. That's a great option for a quick snack to grab on your way out the door. I was actually surprised at how many items that you can find inside a Family Dollar, um, especially on the frozen steaks and burgers. Now, I'm not sure if all the Family Dollars have those. Um, this is a small town, so maybe they have those just because of the need to have some more additional grocery items. So that was a pleasant surprise. There were a few items that didn't have the cleanest ingredients. I make sure I read the labels and for the most part I eat really clean ingredients because of my health. I'm doing this low carb lifestyle because of the health benefits because of my autoimmune diseases and I want to keep the ingredients as pure as possible. But if you're in a pinch and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need to find some low carb items, a lot of times there are family dollars or dollar generals in small towns and if you need to find some low carb foods, go in and check the labels and you might be surprised how many items you can actually find. So that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed my little shop with me. Excuse my lake here, don't care look today. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go back to the house and get in the lake. So, um, but yeah, I will see you in my next video. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video because it helps my channel out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.